Well, oh, cheers to Gray for those races, and also, I guess, cheers to Gray for renaming this race. The Dynabet Chase has now become the Dynabet Like a Tory Chase. I don't quite know what he means by that, but I'm sure. Maybe some of you do. Bockhouse, John Morgan, Dave's Chance, David Hooley, Landon Impact, Leon Van Rensburg, Royal Moon, Frank Beckwith, The Best Is Yet To Come, and The Pretty Boy, Josh Russell, and Dame Rapunzel, Martin Lidham, Flubber, David Robertson, and Hash Talking for Derek Hinton. Uh, calling and away. And Flubber is the first one to show. Probably the best named horse in the league, Flubber, I would think. And... Buck Hebs, who likes to go from the front and likes to go extremely quickly. I actually ran last week, ran the others into the ground. Or was that the week before? I can't remember. But anyway, Buck Hebs is in the lead. Leading by two lengths to Landon Impact in second. Dame Rapunzel is back in third. Flubber four. And Dave's Chance and Ron Moon. They're pretty tightly grouped with the exception of the leader. And the second, to be fair, is Buckhouse. The rest of them want to be a little bit careful. They don't give them too much of a lead this week. Runs into this ditch. Over it they go. He's landed impact over it in second. And the best is yet to come. Hash talking and Dame Rapunzel. Over that next one they go. Dame Rapunzel a bit untidy. This drop to the back. Along with Flubber. And it's Buckhouse who's the leader. Leading by a good six lengths, and this diner bet like a Tory chase. As they get over the fourth, Gray missing his vocation as a comedian. I'm sure it must have been him that came up with that one. I can't imagine anybody else did. Anyway, they get to the fifth. And there was a four up, but there, Dame Rapunzel's gone, so she ran a, what a big race. A few weeks ago, but since then has been absolutely all over the shop. Get over that ditch. And Buckhouse is clearing the lead. It appears to be that when she races against Buckhouse, he goes too quick and she doesn't like it. So we we'll have to try and avoid him. And it's Hash talking in second. The Pretty Boy is third. Landed Impact is fourth. And Dave's Chance as they get over the seventh. So well inside the final mile now. Buckhouse in the lead. Clear of the pretty boy in second. And then Landon Impact is third. Hash talking is four. And Royal Moon and Dave's chance flubber. And finally the best is yet to come. At the back. Do this next ditch then. It's just been rousted along in the lead. Hash talking second. Flubber's come back through into third. Here comes the pretty boys. They get over the tenth. That's the second last. And um, Buckhouse is well clear at the minute. And it doesn't look like he's stopping either. Buckhouse then clear in front from Hash talking in second. Then comes Flubber in third. And the best is yet to come on the pretty boy. Then landing impact. Royal Moon is trying to run on. Dave's chance at the back. Buckhouse has got two and a half furlongs and one fence between himself and Victory. And it's Buckhouse who comes into this final fence now. Takes it nicely. Gets away from it well. Here come the Sutherland Bear. And also Leon van Rensburg's landing impact is eating up the ground. But it's Buckhouse who's still in the lead from the pretty boy in second these two are well clear there's a furlong to go Buckhouse is starting to tread water here comes the pretty boy on the outside and the pretty boy sweeps into the lead and the pretty boy is going to take the dial a bit like a Tory chase and win it by a good couple of lengths so the pretty boy wins it Buckhouse is second best is yet to confirm more move for then landing impact Dave's chance that floor might have been the last one to cross the line And it's a win for the pretty boy. Oh, Joshua Sutherland, Buckhouse, the long-time leader for John Morgan, was second. The best is yet to come. Joshua Sutherland again, third. The Royal Moon for Craig Beckwith was fourth. And landed impact for Leon Van Rensburg was fifth.